Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Ribcon Gaming, your host here. Uh, for another PlayStation 1 Classic video, we're going to do this uh, do this game in episodes. Uh, starting off with obviously the first episode. But this is Metal Gear Solid for PlayStation 1. I am using the original uh, PlayStation 1 game, but using the PlayStation 3 as it's easier to, uh, to save. So... As we're going along, um, we're going to, well, obviously we'll see how we get on, but this is a requested video, um, so that's why I'm doing it. I'm going to start off with easy, uh, so guys, if you do enjoy watching this, please, please drop the like button, uh, subscribe to the channel if you're new around here, and feel free to share. Don't forget to drop any comments underneath. Um, your views on Metal Gear Solid. This is Snake, Colonel. What you think of the video? Loud and clear. What's the situation, Snake? Looks like the elevator in the back is the only way up. Just as I expected. <clears throat> You'll have to take the elevator to the surface, but make sure nobody sees you. If you need to, contact me by codec. The frequency is one four zero point eight five. When you want to use the codec, push the select button. When we need to contact you. The codec will beep. When you hear that noise, press the select button. The codec's receiver directly stimulates the small bones of your ear. No one but you will be able to hear it. Got it. Okay, I'm ready to go. Alright, so here we go, guys. Um, <clears throat> uh, Gonna pick up the Russian down the bottom of the steps. Don't forget that, guys. It's been a very long time since I've actually played this right through. I played it briefly. Yeah, I played it briefly um, a few weeks back. But it's been a long time since I've completed it. Very long time. Hmm. That's what I want to do. Remember all the buttons. If I'm honest, all I've got to do is just wait for the elevator at the back to come down, really. Whether or not I've got to take these drives out beforehand. Remembering the buttons. So these videos guys are going to be about half hour long. There we go. There's the uh, your elevator we need to go. We'll wait for the evasion to disappear before. Here we go.
believe it or not guys the um, the first game of Metal Gear was released in 1987 on the home computer and then obviously the PlayStation brought it out this is initially the third third Metal Gear Solid game released which marked uh, in part the new generation of Metal Gear the whole 3D the whole 3D system and the home, home cinematic unit, uh, version of the game it's, it's come a hell of a long way since 87 I never really played the, the original I just read it to be honest so what I'm going to do I'm just going to slip all that just get on with the gameplay There are only 18 hours left until they're dead. There we go. So this, uh, this woman here allows you to save any time. Oh, yeah. Uh... Right thought in the middle is you, Snake. Um, if if you want to see the um, if you want to see them talking and stuff like that, just drop a comment underneath this video. And on episode two, we'll certainly go through the first. I want you to infiltrate this through the characters with you. And look for the Darby. Snake, your radar isn't affected by the weather, but if you're discovered by an enemy, you won't be able to... I'm sure the frequency is 146. That's one of, one of the reasons why I really should listen to that so then you know your frequencies and stuff if you want to get in there's the front door it's the fastest way but there's too much risk of being spotted by the enemy I can't just knock on the door and ask them to let me in uh, there's one sentry on the left and one on the right they're armed with five five sixers and pineapples <laughs> What about the air duct near the door? There should also be a duct on the second floor. I can't see it from here. Well, the, the vent is literally in between the two pillars, sir. I'll let you decide the best COA. <clears throat> I'm counting on you, Snake. And the aspect of um, getting to the vents, uh, in my own opinion, the um, the one on the higher higher floor is easier to get to. The only problem with running around on the snow, guys, you got to be careful because it does leave footprints, as you can tell. So if uh, any of the enemies sees sees footprints of like, huh? Surveillance. And there's surveillance. So as you guys can see, the you got your little radar bit. 
which indicates their vision on you know as long as you're out of that that little section they can't see you believe so the yellow ones uh, indicate the, the cameras and the white markers indicate obviously the enemy Got your spotlights up on the helipad. So your SOCOM is your weapon. I'm sort of glad I come back down here really. You got your rations, scope and your cigs. <coughs> uh, I don't know why he's got these uh, the cigarettes, but um Clearly it says Solid, uh, Solid Snake's favourite brand, smoking is hazardous to your health. And the reason for that on the game, I don't know. It's one thing I don't know. But you got your scope, rations and six. The other one is stunned. You get all your grenades and stuff like that and your weapons on your right side. <coughs> but... Shit, 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 shit. So the guy that's uh, standing in front of the vet, uh, the vent, he doesn't really move. So that's why I said it's, it's probably easier to go. Oh shit. It's easier to go at the top. Shit, wrong one, wrong one. Get up, get up. Do a snake. Oh, so I've messed up there. Right, here we go. <clears throat> Once you're in the vent, guys, you're alright, but just try not to let them see you. <clears throat> so you got your vent. There's only one way you can really go. some peace and quiet. I'm in retirement just like you. Once in a while I still help train the Alaskan scouts. Passing on the skills to a new generation, huh? <laughs> Campbell told me about the situation here. So we have the episodes on on Metal Gear videos, guys. I'm just going to do a minimum of one a week. Um, maybe push it to two. But don't forget to turn the notifications on. What about the vent shaft? So if, you, if I do, they just opened the vent More than one video, you'll, you'll be notified and you can catch it. An really? Have a little look through the vents as well. Oh, 
So the vent outside, where that uh, the, the guard is sort of in front of, that vent takes you basically to the same room. So it doesn't. It generally doesn't matter what vent you go to. somewhere around there. Try to find it. I'll wait for that to turn. As you guys can see, there's numbers on the doors. That indicates uh, you need a key card to get into that specific room. And obviously you'll get that throughout the game as you go along. So some of the rooms you do have to come back a couple of times. When you see the red dots on, on your screen guys, on your little map in the corner, um, that just indicates obviously the guards that's on a different level to what you're sat on. So the guy should initially come down this way now. Sometimes the best thing to do is just watch their walking pattern and just take your time. Because you could like sort of walk up behind him and then all of a sudden he'll just turn and then you basically seen him. Right, let's just head towards that cargo. Cargo elevator. Which is this one? B1 on the goodie. Yeah. Look at the radar. It's picking up the DARPA chief. He's the green guard. Hurry and rescue him. Right, so obviously you can't go through the door yet because you haven't got the, the key card. So if you go around the corner, you get the elevator. Well, the, not an elevator, a bloody uh, ladder. Snake, if you want to go up or down a ladder, yeah, just first action. Press All right, the action got it. By the ladder. Yeah, we've already worked out how to get up the ladder and down the ladder. So why he tells you. Again, I don't know. Oh, 
caught a damn cold? They hate Alaska. Boy, oh boy, that woman is built all right. So I believe that's the guard that's controlling this room. Always make sure you go off to different sections in the vents if there is any guys just in case there's like ammo like that for instance or any rations. So what we'll do, we'll, we'll get this little bit done guys and then um, I'll end the stream on this one on the video. Just skip it. Metal Gear. It can't be. You knew? Metal Gear is one of the most secret black projects. How did you know that? We've had a couple of run ins in the past. So that's the reason. So now, now that I know about the whole Why else would I come to a Metal Gear released in 87. This scene sort of makes sense. Where he's had run ins with Metal Gear before. On the contrary, it's grown into a huge joint project between Armstrong and ourselves. We were going to use this exercise as raw data and then proceed to mass production. If it hadn't been for the revolution. Naomi, the chief. What happened? I... I don't know. It looked like a heart attack, but... A heart attack? No. Colonel, are you hiding something from me? Absolutely not. Snake, you As you guys could probably guess, um, level red. chief you died. The security clearance to get yeah, just suddenly. To the file. You want me to believe that you're so in I do apologize if you, if you wanted to watch it file. and I've slipped it on, you. just... Again, leave leave a comment underneath if you want to see any of the uh, the talking between the characters, and I'll just leave it. We don't have time to debate. Get out of there and find President Baker. Actually, he's just collapsed. There's a, there's a Russian under the. So you 
killed the chief, you bastard! Liquid? No, you're not. Don't move! Is this the first time you ever pointed a gun at a person? Your hands are shaking. <sighs> Can you shoot me, rookie? Careful. I'm no rookie. Liar. That nervous glance. That scared look in your eyes. They're rookies' eyes if I ever saw them. You've never shot a person, am I right? You talk too much. You haven't even taken safety off, rookie. I told you I'm no rookie! <laughs> You're not one of them, are you? Open that door. I can't remember the plugs now. I'm going to give it heated. So we can get the hell out of here. Looks like we'll be a little delayed. What are you doing? Don't think. Shoot. Right. Square. What are you waiting for? Shoot. Don't talk to me like a rookie. I'm telling you, shoot! So we'll get this bit done. Always try and grab the uh, the the bullets and the packages because you will run out of ammo if you don't. You will get grenades chucked at you. So yeah, that is a woman. You, you could even tell that with the way she ran and... But hopefully we can save it now. I just had some kind of hallucination. Is it from the nanomachines? No, Snick. The nanomachines are functioned properly. So what was it? It must have been psychometric interference coming from Psychomantis, Foxhound Psychic. Think of it as a mental feedback loop. So that was Mantis. Right, so I try and Snake, Psychomantis has the power to I think it's one four six. Oh, 
we go. Alright, so we'll save. Uh, we've actually got two safe rolls in here. Um, take over the heliport one. Um, so that's it. Gonna, that's going to be it for this video, guys. Um, so yeah, if you do enjoy watching, and you enjoyed watching Metal Gear, uh, there will be more coming to uh, towards your way, uh, once or twice a week. Um, please hit the like button. Uh, certainly leave comments underneath, guys. If you know your views on on the Metal Gear franchise in general, or this particular one um, if you've got any information about the original uh, that was released on the home computer back in 87 uh, please leave comments um, I'm certainly intrigued to find out what what that is um, don't forget to subscribe to my channel guys and uh, thanks for watching I hope you've enjoyed I've been Rubicon Gaming and I will see you uh, next time thank you very much bye bye